In this video, we're going to talk about the hidden cost of buying a house. So stay tuned. What's up, everyone? This is Eric Yip and Kelly Whedon. And in this video, we're going to talk all about the hidden cost associated with buying a property and you know, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. This way when we make new videos, you won't miss out. And oh yes, if you're thinking of buying a home, call us, text us. We'd love to help you out. We have so many people calling us all the time and it's, it's, it's so, so amazing. Kelly. Yes, Eric. So what are the hidden costs of buying a property? Oh, uh, you know what? When you're buying a property, there's so many things that can be factored in. Okay. One, getting an appraisal. An appraisal. You got to pay for that? I thought the lenders pay for that. Some lenders actually might. Okay. But it's better to be prepared. Okay. So an appraisal is they're going to go through your house and find out whether or not what it's being sold for is okay. of fair market value. Okay. So basically averaging out the houses that are being sold in the area. Yep. That's when appraisal is going to do to say, yeah, it's in market value or, hey, this house is being sold for seven fifty. The area is really four hundred and fifty. Yeah. Uh, lender's not going to give you the money for that. Right. Right. Well, I'm not paying for that appraisal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's the second thing? Well, the second thing can be as simple as appliances. Appliances. Mm. Oh, did you did you have you seen that new LG fridge that has um, I think it's got a TV on it and you can watch internet and they've got like a, a an invisible door. Would you call it an invisible? Not, not I probably not, walk into it. Yeah. Well, it's not a, it's not an invisible door. It's like a, a door where it's made of glass. You touch it and it becomes transparent and you can see what's in the fridge without opening the door. How cool is that? Or lazy. Not lazy. <laughs> Actually, you know, the technology that they're coming out with is pretty amazing. It is. You know what? You know what they should make? A fridge that can make you pizza! Do you love pizza? I love pizza. Me too. I'm really wanting pizza right now. Me too. What's your favorite pizza? Um, actually, um, I'm going to promote Famoso right now. So, Famoso, I love this pizza. Please send it to me. <laughs> um, the, whatever, it's the prosciutto and right. arugula pizza. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to order it after this. How about uh, Hawaiian? Do you I love like Hawaiian? It? Pineapple does go on a pizza. Pineapple does not go on a pizza, but I actually like but it. But we're still friends. Yes, we are. We are. Mm. I want pizza. I want pizza too. Me too. Anyways, going back to the appliances. So you've got your fridge we mm -hmm. talked about. So so why why are appliances a hidden cost? Well, here's a couple things. One, you know, going back to some of our other, other videos about um, you know, putting in an offer and conditions. Mm -hmm. Appliances need to be in that condition. Okay. So when you're putting in an offer, you want to say appliances included. Okay. Because the homeowner, they might like their gas stove. They might be moving to a new place and they take that gas stove. Oh. So you come into your brand new home and Bad you're like, seller. I don't have a stove. Mm -hmm. Or after, you know, a couple weeks, all of a sudden something craps out. Oh. So prime example. Wife and I, within the first year of our home, and it was a kind of a newer build. Yep. Hot water tank. No way. Yep. That is terrible. So that was a cost we really weren't prepared to have to fork out right then and there. Right. So it is always about being prepared. Okay. So there's, you know, your fridge, your stove, yep. washer, yep. dryer, microwave. Mm whether it's on the counter or is it above the stove. Right. You know, your hot water tank and furnace, mm -hmm. I consider them appliances. Some people might not. <laughs> <laughs> They're appliances to me. Okay. All right. So, all According to Kelly, a hot water tank and a furnace is an appliance. To me it is. Yeah. According to Kelly. <laughs> Anything else? So there's repairs. Oh, repairs. So, yes. The dreaded repair. Yes. So after you've had an inspection, mm -hmm. person's going to walk through the house and say, 
our recommendations are mm -hmm. you should look at maybe changing your windows or mm -hmm. maybe you need to fix you know it could be as simple as you might have foundation cracks mm -hmm. you need to look into those they're not leaking but they could right so it's something that could not be an expense now mm -hmm. but it could be an expense down the road oh okay and some of those are pretty big mm. uh repairs of your driveway hmm so there's something called mud jacking where okay. that's when all of a sudden your driveway starts to sink and you get cracks <laughs> in your driveway <laughs> yep that's gonna be a good video when it starts to do that yes exactly <laughs> so you want to make sure you're gonna be prepared for that mm-hmm and be prepared and then all of course all of this takes time and yes. time is a cost oh it can be it you're can. right because if you're buying a home and you need to take time off work to either go look at a home or deal with the offer or even on the day you move and you get after you get the keys you have to take time off so i guess that's where the is that where the the the, the term came from Time is money? Definitely. Mm. Definitely. Or yes. what about this, though? Time yes. as an expense. When you get into your home, yep. you want it fresh and clean and smelling good. Mm. And not everyone's going to clean the same way you it do. Smells like pizza. Smells like pizza. Oh, that'd be a great air freshener. <laughs> it would. So you want your house clean, but you've mm -hmm. come in and the person who moved out of the house... Mm -hmm. Didn't really clean the cupboards out, wiped them out, hmm. wiped out the appliances, or right. steam clean the carpets. So now you're cool. taking the time to have to do all that, or right. you're going to pay for a cleaner to go in. A cleaner. That could Find be 25, good... 30 bucks an hour. Ooh. How yep. big's the house? Hmm. Big 10,000 square feet. Oh, that'd be huge. That's a big house. We will show you a video next time on a 10,000 square foot house mm -hmm. if they let us in there. How many, how many bathrooms are in a 10,000? One. <laughs> big bathroom. A big, big toilet bowl. <laughs> the size of a if swimming pool. Recommendation. If you're <laughs> buying a 10,000 square foot house and it has one bathroom, I would um, maybe not buy it. Okay. Just just a thought. All right. Oh. Or that's an additional cost to put extra bathrooms <laughs> yes. in the house. Exactly. How about your furnace? Yes, that is something that gets neglected, especially if there was pets in the house prior. Mm -hmm. You need someone to come in and clean all those vents. Mm. Allergies are another thing that can happen when dust does not get cleaned out of the vents. Right. We can vacuum all we want, the carpets and this and that, but yeah. through all the vents in and out of the house mm -hmm. and changing that furnace filter. Oh, yes. So that's, oh, a, yes. that's an expense too. That's true. Furnace filters. Yes, furnace filters. Filters. Change them. Change them. Important. Yep. How off how often? Three, I'm actually every, every three least, months? Three to six months. Three to six months. I'll ask my wife. Three to she six months. Three to six years? <laughs> no, three to six months. months. I think she meant years. Probably or months. Yeah, I did. Years <laughs> or months. Anything yeah, else? I always have an extra set um, as well. So you're kind mm -hmm. of buying extra around to, to be there for when you're changing it. So you don't have to go and get something and then, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So some other hidden costs mm -hmm. that people don't realize, especially if you're a first time buyer. Yes. Shovels. Shovels. Rakes. Brakes. Oh, rakes. Long oh, rakes. I thought you said brakes. I'm like, <laughs> why do you need a break for? <laughs> you need a coffee. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So the same simple thing is... Mm -hmm. If you've lived in a condo and you go into a house, yep. you need different things. Mm -hmm. Some people have a deck, so you've never had deck furniture. That's oh, an extra cost. Yeah. Oh, I love the deck furniture. A barbecue. A little bistro or something. You know, I want that big ass barbecue. Mmm. Mm. Steak. Yep. And pizza. Mmm. Barbecue pizza. And beer. <laughs> to help you move. Yes. Exactly. Oh, you know what? You're right. That lawnmower. Did you, did you say lawnmower? A lawnmower, yeah. You know what? If you don't want a lawnmower, if you have a big yard, I guess you could buy some goat or some sheep. Get a goat. Get a goat. Actually, get, get a goat. Get a goat get or a sheep. Horses are too big for the city. <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> oh, you know what? How about if you want security? A security oh, system. 
I was thinking of a snake or or or, a, or an alligator or something. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, that would be. Um, that'd be an. They could eat your grass too. No, they don't. No, they don't. They but don't that'd be true. a cool security alligator. I've got my own secure alligator guard. <laughs> Isn't that cool? What's his name? Her name? Uh, hmm. That's a good question. Next video, you'll find out the name. Okay. Stay we'll, tuned. We'll, we'll think about that. And anything else? You know what? And if you buy maybe a bigger home, this is your upgrading. Mm -hmm. There's going to be extra cost of furniture. Oh, you yes. Buy furniture. more stuff oh. to fill the rooms. I want that big lazy chair. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. And I, I want that. The big sectional. The sectional. Oh, and the big screen TV. Now, you know what? I don't want a big screen TV. I want a projector. Oh, that'd be cool. Yep. Actually, we were, I was measuring out the TV we have at home. Mm -hmm. 50 inch, which I thought was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I saw four on sale, a 70 inch. So yep. I took my measuring tape and I put a 70 inch. I'm like, it's way too big in our house. <laughs> but I'm like. It's never too big. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How about a bowling alley in your home or a swimming pool? Those are additional costs. Absolutely. Isn't that pretty? You know what? How about a basketball court or a tennis court? There is a house you can actually buy. It's or, about $2 million and there yep. does have a basketball court. Yeah, I love that. It is a nice house. Mm. Oh, private lessons. That's an extra cost, isn't it? A gym. If you want a home gym, that's an extra cost. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if I could actually hire Michael Jordan to be my coach. Hmm. That's a huge extra cost. That's a huge, huge cost that I can't afford. <laughs> so it's always about being prepared. Little things that could potentially catch up to you if you aren't prepared for it. Exactly. So we're here to just show you all the potentials that could be and then some. True that. So thanks for tuning in and hearing about the potential extra costs that will be when you're buying a home, seeking out a really good realtor to help you out. And, and a really good financial person. That'll help you with your mortgages and then some. There's and lots of things some. to look at. So stay tuned for and more videos. And pizza! And potential pizza. Yes. Please subscribe, pound it, smash it, get the link below. And you know what? Call us. We're here to help you out in any way we can. We're looking forward to seeing you guys again. Peace out.